but they told me that I knew what I was doing when I posted that and that they would have to let me go because a customer came in, brought up, printed off the screenshots of it, and they were really upset. Kirsten Kelly is paying big time for saying what's on her mind. Monday, she was laid off from her job at Texas Roadhouse in Finley for sharing her opinion on how customers should tip. I just said, um, you know, if you come into a restaurant and spend 50 or more dollars, you should be able to tip, like, appropriately for that. Turns out the customer who left the bad tip was one of Kirsten's Facebook friends, a former schoolmate, and she wasn't happy when she saw her waitress blasting her online. The woman printed off a screenshot of Kirsten's status, brought it to the managers, who then told Kirsten they'd have to let her go for her inappropriate comment. I was mad. I, it was a Friday night, and I made $60. So, because I had several people that night that, you know, weren't tipping appropriately. I had more than one time people spend 50 or more dollars, and they tip $5 or $6, and that's not okay. Kirsten says she kept her Facebook post extremely vague, never mentioning a specific customer or Texas Roadhouse in it. But job experts say you can't be too careful when it comes to what you post on social media. It is legal, and it's also for people, I mean, if you just have to realize what friends you're accepting online as well. Um, obviously, if you only have your privacy setting as friends only, then they will be only able to see your profile picture. Kayla Fortman works to prepare job seekers through job solutions in Finley. She says even when you think your posts are private, they can come back to bite you, especially when your comments bite the hand that feeds you. So just make sure everything you put on there, just realize everyone can see it online. It's best to just assume that everyone can see it because nothing, nothing can ever really be taken off of the internet. I knew that I could have gotten, I don't know, that they could probably yell at me for that, but I didn't think that they could fire me for posting that. Kirsten says this has been a hard lesson to learn, and now she's worried about how she'll support herself and her young son with no income coming in. She's hoping to land another job in customer service sometime soon, but this time being more careful about how she chooses to vent. In Finley, I'm Crystal Clark.